Hey guys, what's going on? The Ranker's back. And in the words of a very underrated Soundgarden song, I've been away too long. So today, we're going to be ranking modern slang terms slash sayings. Not the offensive kind. Maybe for another video. Slang is great because it could really tell a difference between the time periods that you're in. Or that you're thinking about, or that you're from, you know, all that stuff. I don't have the script for this video, so bear with me. There's some words that stand the test of time while others just die off very quickly. A lot of these are already outdated, so just bear with me with that. I chose 22 of the most poppin' slang terms that I could- I forgot poppin'. God damn- We got 22 terms to go over, so let's go. First up, we got blank mentioned raw. You tend to see this one a lot in Instagram comment sections. They could really amplify the funniness of whatever it is you're looking at. Or it can make it even funnier, depending on what you're looking at. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. You ever just see comments that are funnier than the actual video? That's kind of what this does. There's numerous examples, and you could probably see one if you go on Instagram right now. I like it for that reason, the amplification of funniness that it provides. Like, if there was one on one of my videos, it'd probably be something like, The Ranker mentioned, raw, what the hell is quality content? I wouldn't know, to be honest. I don't even know what consistency is. My subscribers mention, raw. What the hell is the opposite of awesome? Bussin'. Yeah, like I said, a lot of these are outdated. Bussin', I feel like it's been going on for at least two years now, but I'm not sure. Let me see. Oh, nine. Well, I guess I had a resurgence. Bussin', typically used to talk about food. And I'm not gonna lie, I've used it a couple times. Never really messed with it too much. I'll put it in the C tier. Delulu. You probably called one of your homies at some point Delulu because, well, they're delusional. But I like Delulu because it kind of takes a serious word like delusional, but it just lessens it. So if you're going to call someone delusional, you're probably being serious about that. But Delulu, you don't really mean it, but you do just without as much weight to it as delusional. It's cool and it's playful. It's just fun to say also. It like rolls off the tongue. Delulu. I don't know why I'm doing this a lot. It's been a while since I've made a video, guys. I, I just don't remember what to do. Delulu, like a lot of these, tend to be used by females. And as we will learn, it's one of the better ones that the females have come up with. So that's, yeah. I don't know for sure if females came up with Delulu, but I'll give them credit anyways, because B tier. That literally made no sense. Finna. Finna's still heavily used today. You ever just be finna dip from wherever it is that you are that you don't want to be? Then this is a word for you because it's perfect. I do like fixin'. It's the same thing, basically. But finna is probably better because it just rolls like the flow of it is better i'm finna dip if you know what i'm saying i'm finna not upload for another year after this i'm sorry guys i've just been lazy thing is with finna is that people kind of use it too much they use it like every time now it's kind of overkill maybe i'm just overthinking but i'll put it with c next to bussin goes hard kind of like this font goes hard is great because it could really explain a lot of different things you're listening to music that's just really good it goes hard maybe it's a specific part of a song or maybe it's even an image on the screen or a bunch of images that i deem to go hard I love those pictures you see on Instagram that just go hard. I don't know what it is about them, but they're just very captivating. But it's not limited to those things. You could also be talking about someone's fit. Like this fit. Hopefully goes hard. Probably not, you know, but who cares when your fit goes hard though that's one of the best compliments you could receive pretty much anything that you created or whatever if someone says it goes hard like your music or your youtube content or whatever that can cure depression it's got that much weight you know what goes hard my subscribers s tier totally not sucking up up next we got get get yet another word to describe someone's butt you know there's so many words to describe it there's probably a whole list that we could make of ranking those words. It's crazy how a simple body part can obtain so much attention. I mean, it makes sense and I get it. This word though seems to be rather humorous. Look at me sounding like a professional, like a scholar even. I'm all over here trying to examine the complexities of these words and sayings, only for them to be used for the likes of memes. That's fine though. I never really use it because I have respect for women, give or take. C tier. That was a joke, you guys. I, I hope that I don't get cancelled. And speaking of women, the next word we got is ick. I don't know who came up with this one, but they should be ashamed of themselves. Guys can't even exist without it being an ick to women. Nah, I'm just playing. I don't take that seriously. We breathe in ick. We walk incorrectly, ick. Your style, the way you compose yourself, the actions you do, anything could be considered an ick. So you just gotta not exist or something. But they'll still be all like, oh man, he doesn't exist. That's an ick. Take notes, guys. Take notes. Having a YouTube channel is also an ick, I think. Well, that's it for me. I'm cooked, boys. B tier. And speaking of cook, let him slash her cook. This one makes me think of Breaking Bad. Walter White type B. 
I forgot type B. If I haven't already said, there's a ton of slang that I'm just not gonna get to because I didn't think of it. So it is what it is. But anyways, let him slash her cook. You ever just seen one of your homies try to riz up a girl that's just way out of their league? You know it's gonna end in utter failure, but you just wanna see what happens. One of your other friends is all like, bro, we probably shouldn't let him be doing this. He's gonna hurt himself or embarrass himself. But he's being kept back by one of the other homies because he wants him to cook. Proceeds to say, let him cook. It's fun in action, not gonna lie. Some of the most awkward interactions ever have happened just because someone proceeded to cook. You could be either really great or really bad at cooking. For anyone who doesn't know what this word means, it just means like flirt. And it's especially funny when you got people saying like, who let bro cook? There are some people that should not be allowed to cook though, like pedophiles. Although that kind of goes with another word that we'll get to in a minute. Let him cook. I put that in A tier. Lock in. This one's probably my favorite, not gonna lie. I love lock in. You ever just be in a situation that you gotta take seriously, but you know that you're just not a serious person? You gotta lock in. You gotta lock in, brother. Even if you're trying to cook and you know that you suck at that, you just gotta lock in. You're driving while you're intoxicated, you gotta lock in. You're trying to walk a straight line while you're clearly drunk as can be, you gotta lock in. Trying to think of other examples that aren't extremely horrible. Me trying to come up with a script on the fly, I gotta lock in. <laughs> Let me just lock in real quick. It's fun to use, it's fun to say. This slang term, unfortunately, will probably just die off like a lot of these other ones. But for now, I'm enjoying it and I'm gonna keep using it because I don't care. I'd like to know what instances you guys use these words. I would imagine it would be funnier than mine. Lock in goes hard, no pun intended. Me when. This one is great to use, but before I get to that, it has really changed the game for watching movies or playing video games or anything like that. You just see like a literally me character do anything in a movie and then you just tell your homie, me when. It could take something that's not really that funny, but it could make it infinitely funnier. I would say the thing I don't like about me when though is that I just... I can't stop using it. There can't be a movie that goes by without me thinking of one instance where I'll say me when. Like, I just can't. It's too much, too easy. Like, it's just, it's there. Like, it's there and it's here to stay and I don't think it's going anywhere. It's like the symbiote from Spider-Man. It just sort of latched onto Eddie and like, it ain't going anywhere. Eddie Brock praying for Spider-Man to die. That was, that was crazy. Me when, B tier, mid. Mid is like the complete opposite of goes hard. Cause if someone tells you you're mid, that could be one of the biggest insults you could ever receive in your life. It can hurt the soul, it's got that much weight to it. You ever just make like a YouTube video, you ever make like a song or a drawing or whatever and someone just calls it mid? You can't recover from that. No, but in all seriousness, mid does have a lot of weight to it. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just simple yet effective. It's fun to use though, I, I give it that. <laughs> Bro, this movie, mid as hell. Just give it a little more spice by throwing the as hell right after it. Bro, you mid as hell. There's plenty of things that are mid, so that means there's plenty of instances where you're gonna be able to use this word. Even though it means the opposite, it ends up in S tier just because. No cap on God, for real, for real. Although these are three different sayings, I'm treating them as one because they're all used pretty much in the same sentence. You can't say one without saying the rest of the two, like, come on. No cap on God, for real, for real, tends to come after what you deem to be a truth or a statement or whatever. Straight fact even. Another one I forgot. It's kind of overused at this point. I use it typically when I'm insulting someone. Given that this word, or I guess these words, are typically used for one purpose, you can't really be very versatile with it. I put in the D tier. Not the or not my. Not the ranker trying to pretend like he hasn't been gone for like a year. That was a lame example, but you know what I mean. This is another one where you tend to see it mainly on Instagram comment sections, maybe YouTube, this and that. This one will die quick. For now, it's just a funny Instagram saying. I put it with C. Mmm, pookie. Pookie is one of those words that are typically used by girls to describe their man. Maybe guys use it for guys too, but I, I wouldn't know about that. Maybe girls use it with girls too, but I don't really know. I didn't do my research on freaking slang terms before I made this, I just randomly did this. But regardless, I only think Pookie's annoying to the boyfriend. Assuming that the girlfriend uses it like really really often, it sounds like it would get annoying. Imagine being called Pookie every day, all the time, 24-7. That's really all I gotta say about that. But you cannot obtain a Pookie unless you- wait, why did I put that in B tier, the heck? But you cannot obtain a Pookie unless you riz someone up first. Like I said, something earlier would let him slash let her cook it's the same as riz if you want to be good at cooking you gotta have riz riz seems to be outdated but it was heavily used a few years ago there's a whole plethora of riz that exists you got the unspoken riz you got the foreign riz you got that diabolical riz you got that evil riz you got that underage riz which is not good at all what would i know about riz i'm just a youtuber you're serenading someone on guitar you got that musical riz riz can take all kinds of different shapes and forms you just gotta find what works for you 
you. This is one of those words that tends to be exclusive for like the broccoli haircut people. Can we go back to when hair was like stylish? Riz will get C tier because it's funny to use ironically. Say less. Say less. Another one typically used by the females. Say less queen. We're not a queen yet. I gotta, I gotta pace myself. I've never really used this one. So I guess you could say that I gotta say less about say less. When I hear it, I think pay less like the shoes. Man, if they were around today, their motto could have been say less, go to pay less. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, say less. D tier. Oh my goodness. Say it louder for the people in the back. Guys, I hate this one. You know who says this? Let me give you an example. You ever heard someone just saying the dumbest thing you've ever heard said by a human, followed by someone who agrees with that person, and they say, say it louder for the people in the back. They just agreed with an idiot and they want to sound smart, so they say that. I think the problem I have with this one is because it's primarily used by dumb people. You're just gonna have to trust me on that one. If you agree with me, I will not say that louder for the people in the back. They can shut the hell up. Maybe it's more so the people that use this slang saying or whatever, but I don't know. I just, I can't mess with it. F tier. Slay queen. Slay queen. This one typically used by the girls and the gays. Sometimes it could be used to describe someone you actually mess with, but at the same time, it could be used to describe someone you don't mess with at all, but you want to pretend like you do because you don't want to come off as mean or messed up or whatever. Like you guys know what I'm talking about. You see like a land whale. You got her friends hyping her up, calling her beautiful, and they say slay queen. If I sounded messed up, then well, I guess whatever, you know. This is a hot take, but if you look like overweight you should not be proud of that or happy with that you got to fix yourself my dude never strive to be less than the best that you could be i gotta learn to put on weight too because i'm actually pretty skinny i should not be content you see it works both ways you shouldn't be hyping people up when they're not in a great place slay queen is just kind of reinforcing that it's like treating someone good when they don't deserve to be treated that way you got to bring people up in a positive way not in like a weird backhanded way However, it could just be used like you're trying to compliment someone. I'll put it with, uh, I don't know, I don't care, C. Thug it out. You see, we men don't like to talk about our problems because it's considered an ick. What we do is we keep that stuff buried inside of us and we thug it out. Look at Drake Bell, for example. He literally got molested and he thugged it out for like 20 years. God, freaking Brian Peck. What Brian Peck did makes this scene so ironic. But enough about that. Thug it out, soldier on, do what you gotta do. It all means the same thing, pretty much. You gotta thug that shit out. It's fun to say, so I give it S tier. To any of you guys or girls that are thugging it out right now, I'm so proud of you. Tweaking. People like Mr. Boss, a homeless man who's super drugged out, or anyone who just looks like they're losing it or straight up tweaking. Maybe you're trying to describe your friend who can't live without a vape. I think we've all seen one at some point. They just go crazy when they go like two minutes without a hit. It's sad to see, but addiction is like terrible. Tweaking, tweaking, tweaking. We can get some beats here. We're so back. Similar to Say It Louder for the people in the back, I do not mess with this one. Seems to be already dead though, so I don't have a problem with that. You're so back? Back from what exactly? No one noticed you were gone. No one cares. We're so back. Shut up, man. Ain't nobody care about you. Quit your yapping. Yapping. Pretty self-explanatory. You got someone who just won't shut up. We all know someone like that, whether they be like a teacher or a student or a coworker me a friend you know whatever every now and then people just need to learn to stop yapping because yeah i've had it up to here with these people and i'm pretty sure you have too i'ma put this one in d and so there you have it the slang terms tier list what was this called again the modern slang term slash sayings tier list not gonna lie this tier list is essentially meaningless i just needed to make a video like straight up i'm working on stuff i promise that was kind of a lie i'm working but at a very slow pace but in all seriousness i will try to upload more i know everyone says that but they don't you know screw it i'm gonna tell the truth i don't know what i'm gonna do maybe i'll upload again maybe i won't i don't know what's gonna happen dude i'm just freaking i'm tired me trying not to suck at being a youtuber challenge impossible well guys that's it i guess peace